Hello and welcome to more gaming fans. I'm your host Joseph Moore here, and this week our New England Chargers have to face off against the Delaware Dittos, I believe, in the SQL. If you haven't been keeping up, uh, it's okay. We uh, took over for this guy's team, and uh, we've been taking care of it since week four. And so week four to now, we've been two and two. Uh, record isn't as good as that though. It's like two and whatever <laughs> two and five two and seven i guess so uh or something like that two and five but we are in week eight and we're trying to get another win here we just won last week but we completely revamped the team um this guy's got a pretty much sand team and he has a hell setter just for us so hopefully we can uh take advantage of that but um designated leads for us are gonna be Let's go Punk Rock, Frosty, Frostbite in the back with Nobunaga as well. So this is going to be uh, battle one of three, so best of three series. So good luck, have fun, and uh, let's see how this goes, Rhino. Again, this is my first time with these some of these new mons in this league. Um, I'm running a snow team on PML, so if you've seen that battle already. Shoutouts to me winning the first week. And uh, looks like uh, we got Punk Rock and Frosty versus Garchomp and Ninetales. And uh, Snowflakes is Snow Warning. So very interesting on his part. He still brings the hell. Even though we have that in our advantage. So we're going to go ahead and Obstruct here. And uh, go ahead and Blizzard as well. I feel like he targets the uh, Obama Snow. But we're going to go ahead and Obstruct, get our Flame Orb going. Snowflake goes off into Obama Snow. Okay, predicted. And Thresher goes into Fire Fang. Alright, beautiful. Beautiful first turn. Honestly, don't mind that at all. Thresher lost some uh, Life Orb damage and also Hell damage. We take some hell damage as well, but we're not too worried about that because we're flame orb and we're prepared to take some damage. Alright, so Frostbite is here to take advantage of the snow. So we're just going to go facade into Snowflake, assuming they're going to double into that one again. And uh, we're going to go ahead and... Should we max ice? Does he Dynamax here? I'm going to predict he doesn't. And we're going to go into the Garchomp. So Snowflake comes out. And whatever's going in here is going to take a big old facade. And it is Crota who changes the weather. Which is good for them. And Garchomp does decide to max. So we're going to take a max flare to the face here. Alright, so fair enough. He takes out our uh, snow snow abusers real quickly. So now we know how he's going to kind of try to play this later. But now he gets rid of his own sand as well. So we'll see how this goes here. So Crota's going to take a facade here, which is good for us, honestly. And I'm surprised I didn't put a fighting move on it. Oh well. Nobunaga's going to come in here, though. Alright, now we're going to go for an obstruct here. We're going to actually go for the parting shot. We're not going to be able to switch out to anybody, but uh, the rock type moves will do less. And then we're going to max here and go max Hellstorm straight into Thrasher. Because as you can see, we are a special attacker. 
And you know what? Let's go ahead and go for Max, uh, Max Wormheimer or Max Wormen or whatever it's called. <laughs> it might not get, I'm sure it'll get some damage off on it, but either way, at least we'll lower the attack as well. Probably should have went for the Oko there. Well, we're about to find out. So he is actually faster than us. Did not expect that. And somehow we live on one. We are not sashed, I don't believe. It's been a while since I made this team. But yeah, alright. So he is faster somehow. Very interesting. So that's definitely going to change how we played the, the next round. So even at minus one, we still get the knockout there. But due to that surprise out speed, it uh, looks like we're going to lose game one. All right, and special move on his Ty Tyranitar as well. Very interesting there. All right. Well, that is it for round one, really. <laughs> no matter where he decides to go here. And now we know Lee double snow at the very beginning of the battle and max. He's going to max. So I'm just going to go for the facade on Snowflake. I mean, try to get a knockout here. But not likely to happen. All right, GG on the round one. Time to run it back for round two. I think we learned everything we needed to know there. The only Pokemon I didn't see was, uh, was Excadrill. And even then, I'm not too worried about it. So, um, not yet. We'll, we'll get it if we win. So we'll play with same rules. And try to run it through. Funny enough, I did not see a Sogalio there. He does have that on his team, and he decided not to bring it. So, we're going to go ahead and just lead Frosty and Frostbite. And judging from what he brought, uh, Nobunaga and Petrie in the back. Alright, time for game two. I wonder if it's a Scarf Garchomp. I mean, it wouldn't matter when uh, he's a uh, Dynamax, though. So, I don't know. It's just a strange lead all around. But he is pretty confident in that Garchomp lead. Even with Ice types coming, he knows it. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and go for the Aurora Veil on Frosty. And we're going to max Hellstorm Thrasher here. Or Thrasher. Ooh, very smart. I forgot about that. I should have... I don't know. I ruined it there. It's okay, though. So no Aurora Veil is going to come up. But we're still going to max hit that thing. Hopefully he hits the Obama Snow instead. And then we could switch that thing out next turn. Well, I think Sand will knock it down, but it's fine. We'll get we'll get a uh, snow back right here if he doesn't hit Frostbite. So Thresher does go Fire Fang straight into Frosty. We hang on to the Focus Sash. Tyranitar just came in, so our Max Hellstorm is gonna go off into Thresher, and we'll get our Hell back up, and we will get the Aurora Veil as well. So that actually worked out great in our favor. So 
So down goes Thresher there. And our Auroraville comes off. So I see that as an absolute win. We got that on the first turn. We break whatever Sash is on Crota. If he did have one. And Undermire. Underminer's coming in. Uh, I'm going to go for Earth Power. But I'm going to certainly go for the Max Knuckle here. On Underminer. Do I do that? I think I should get it on Crota, right? He's probably going to switch out with Crota, so I'm going to do it on Underminer. Yep, he withdrew Crota. So, Snowflake comes in. He's probably going to protect. Oh no, he's just going to max here. He's probably max guarding, though. You'd have to assume. So Underminer comes in here. Our max knuckle goes off. He did not max guard. I thought he would do that. But either way, we get a max knuckle off on him. We get our attack boost. We're going to have to take a big hit here, but we do have Aurora Veil up. So we should be able to take anything. Even a max still spike. And Earth Power should do a significant amount of damage to this thing. Not bad. Not bad for that turn. So he's obviously going to switch back in here. He's going to be faster on the switch in too. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to double switch. Is that the smart play? I believe so. Alright, so we're double switching here. Petrie's most likely going down, uh, but I predict uh, Ninetales to switch out here. Yep. Alright, so that's good. So Frosty's going to come out here. Nobunaga comes in. And let's see what uh, Max Still Spikes goes into. It goes into the Petri. Alright, predicted. But now we get Snow back up. So that's good for us. Now we get Frosty back in here. Alright, now I think he's kind of stuck in here. He's got to make a decision with this team. So I'm going to go ahead and... Flamethrower Underminer. And I'm going to Giga Drain on Crota. So Specs Boosted knocks that thing out no problem from that range, of course. And then Ice Beam comes off. Our Veil is still up. So we should be able to take that no problem. And we'll get to... Oh! Frozen though! Frozen is not good. But we do get a Giga Drain off. And that does get our health back up to live the next hit. At least from uh, Ninetales. Well, we're going to hope we unfreeze from this Flamethrower. Because that sucks. Ninetales is probably going to outspeed us either way. And um, let's just go ahead and go for another Giga Drain. So 
So Ninetales goes Ice Beam into Nobunaga. Takes that thing out. And um, probably going to get taken out by Tyranitar here. Oh yeah, Flamethrower. Even with Veil, I don't think we live that at all. Alright, so now we're down here. Aurora Veil, well, we're off. So I think we go down to the next turn anyway. So I guess the only thing we can do here is go for the Rock Slide, hope for the Double Flinch, and go for it again. I mean, that's the best play we got going for us. Alright, Flinch, Double Flinch, that'd be great. Nope, alright, we get taken out. So we do lose to an 0-2 here. I mean, at least we put up a better fight second time around. But that does bring our personal record with this team to 2-3. GG to Rhino and the uh, Delaware Dittos.